We have some chance to recover our lame or lo losses. The siege bombardment has a 50% chance to being. Hmm. Not sure if that counts to on like in the I guess in the battle is not gonna matter. His athletics, bowmanship, gets full already in our mind. And I assume he has a two hand weapon. Yeah. Tactics. I guess let's go for throwing in as well. And that's about it. Okay, he's not gonna be in a in a tightly packed. Captain, captain. And troops in your formation gain one percent damage against any troop. Jesus Christ! It's useless. Freaking useless. <laughs> I'm gonna um, go through that on my own. No, 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 no. Let's look through the auction ones. We didn't actually do that last time. Every moment, bow equipped troops in your formation gain percent uh, five percent damage in bows. I think archery skills is gonna be more important. Your Attacks with bow ignore 10% of enemy bow equipped troops in your formation ignore 5% of enemy's armor. Bow equipped troops in your formation gain 3% of their foot movement speed. I don't think it's gonna matter. You have 5% accuracy troops in your have their bow reload speed. I think accuracy is gonna be more important. Personal. They're gonna be important. Captain. For this one. Personal governor, personal governor, you can hold your aim. Personal. Okay, so this one. Party leader, governor, party leader. Uh, none of these two ain't gonna matter. Personal party leader, personal captain. Uh, sure. Personal governor, personal ain't gonna matter. I wonder how much damage is he gonna be doing with the bows. That would be freaking amazing to see. Wait a minute, he oh sh This is what is like if I reset this it's gonna reset everything else, so let's go with that. Personal party leader. Personal, personal. You can deflect arrows with two handed swords, but what? Forgot about that. Your attacks is ignored 25% of enemy armor. Oh, I got to get that. Or increased weapon damage. I think uh, ignoring the armor is going to be a lot better. I'm going to deal with that later. Or I'm just going to let the... I'll let the computer actually grab all of those for him. Ain't, those ain't gonna matter that much in the long run. Okay, let me go sell off all the loot we got for them. 
and get back to the north northern territory as well. Also, we're gonna declare a war with to them on them. Is the only issue now? His he's actually Batanian. That's gonna be like the only downside. Do all of that. Actually, I got an idea. Let's pick the weapons we want and then just... Um... Maybe we want to take this one again. Yes, we do. Two hand, two handed what? Six eighty three spring speed cut damage. This only is a little bit le longer, so let's not take that. If you got the best throwing weapons, See if you can get some better armors, armor from here. Uh, we can, but doesn't really look Viking ish, though. Fortunately. That's a fucking surprise. There ain't no better shit here. Alright, a helmet. This one. So we looked apart. Oof, whatever this is. Okay, maybe we don't have the money for it. This one costs the most. Actually, we do. We might have 11k. If we do actually have money for all this, except the chest piece. I mean, like I said, uh, none of these actually look. Uh, oh, I guess this one looks. The and not really. Let's give this. I'm gonna buy some armor later on. Okay, apparently the save file is corrupted. So I loaded in this one, which is, you know, not too far back. You know, I think the only thing we did is actually like just buy armor and stuff. So we sh sh still should be good. But th that was freaking weird, to say the least. Now let's get the battle in. As a warm up. Because that's what Vikings do, right? Fight. Move! Whoa! 
That was freaking weird. I never had my save file corrupt on the same version of the game. Usually it just happens, you know, when the game gets updated. So that can happen. Oh, you were waiting for me. As soon as you say that, I die. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. Played the game that the game breaks for whatever the f forever whatever reason. Let's pick up that armor actually. Looks way nicer. It just gives you a random error. Totally legally. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess the uh, the good part is that the mods are not on the workshop. You can actually like go and download the older versions, so you can play all of them. Even if you're downloading the shady stuff, so that's good. All right, we got a whole bunch of loot. So let's go sell it. I want to try and find the berserkers. Actually, what's up, Sammy? How's it going? I want to find the Berserker so I can... Sammy, do you know, the, the, does the uh, fancy axe, Mammon axe, or whatever it's called, actually, like, exist in shops? You know, so you can actually buy it, or is it, like, a tournament-only thing, or just, you know, grab it off the enemy? Or do you need to, like, go through the serve as a soldier to the end to grab it? Swing speed of 77. Hmm... Wait, what? Type 1 hand weapon, class 2 hand axe. You looted it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I need to find the feral berserker somewhere so I can loot him. Sammy's gone? No, Sammy's always here. He's the guardian angel. Oh, by the way, uh, I did start the stream today. <laughs> I didn't need to remove the message. Uh, and apparently, I got an error, uh, which is, uh, what was it? No, not that. I know, uh, the save file corrupted in short, for whatever the f fuck the reason was. Uh, loaded in a later one. And this is not the same, same save game as the uh, one before, by the way. This is a new one. Yeah, let's sure. Let's go for one berserker. Maybe we can loot our own, right? That's gonna work out for us. I got to level three as a service soldier, but the problem is uh, the Nordics just get wrecked each. We were at war with the Vlandians, and they just got wrecked over and over again. There's like no way they can. Uh, gather enough troops to actually, like, you know, fight back for some reason. Uh, anime? There is a mod that makes it so the map is like Britain or the United Kingdom. I haven't seen any maps that, like, makes it to the whole Europe. There is the uh, 1200 AD mod being made. You know, the, like, like the one from Warband, the same, I think the same mod team making that. So that one's gonna be like full map of Europe. It's gonna take a while to miss. You might, you know, if you go to their Discord, you might get access to it or something. You can check. Look at all that money. I feel like the better loot mod actually makes the game a little bit too easy, honestly. Then again, you know. It's not like you can win all the wars if you just have money. It's not like you have infinite troops to recruit. Or mercenaries for that matter.
Right. I'm probably gonna need to loot the axle. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking of using this one just because of the length, but it's super fucking slow. Maybe once I level up uh, two and a little bit further, might be better. Right, let's see. Do you want to go goggled? Nah. Actually, this kind of looks... Mm. Sure, that fits the shoulder things a little bit better. It's sad that there isn't, the, there isn't any like armor that looks Nordic. Well, I mean, except the house carl, I guess. Give me a short. Yeah, okay, this could work. I mean, this looks better a little bit. And by the way, Sammy. I got myself a Rode PSA-1, a microphone arm, thanks to you. It was, yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah, this, this looks a little bit better. Passion, Passion Lords after all, right? We are a mercenary for the Northern Empire now, or the Nordic Empire. Not even. Not in this anymore. <laughs> right, let's go and try to find some uh, barrel berserkers and loot an axe from them. Do I, I might actually just tone down the true loot, uh, true battle loot a little bit, le like to like uh, maybe like 20, 30 percent. Let's go up to a hundred if it's, if you can find some losers. That would be perfect. Or berserkers, never mind. I'm still debating on which microphone will I get. While I'm debating that, I was like, oh, why not just get the. I'm saving up for the microphone anyway. Why not just get the fucking microphone arm, which I'm gonna use anyway, you know? I'm thinking either road pod mic. Became king and murder. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Maybe we should kill the king. <laughs> Alright, I got the righteous execution, so we can't actually do that. I'm thinking of like would be nice if the some other faction like conquered some of the northern territory. Doesn't matter which exactly, but any of these doesn't matter. So we can like uh, retake it back and get it for ourselves, so, for our, so it becomes our thief. And you know, from end from there, stage a revolt. Whereas, uh, what is it called? Uh, I can't. I think how the fucking. Uh, Abdication? No, not abdication. What was the... You know what I mean. Separate. Because we're not in love anymore. I'm thinking of something like that. Once I get a bunch of, like, uh, clan members and all that. Roaming around, so I have actually have an army to defend with. Yeah, even with the fill stacks on it, there's actually a bunch of armies of like a 1k troops running around. But the plum seem odd adds factions into the game, which uh, I mean might make a difference or not. Uh, it makes it so that factions can actually form an alliance, although I've seen it once. Wait, all the faction Valkyries? 
It can form alliances, non-aggression pacts. It like it makes the AI a little bit smarter when considering war and plus adds war exhaustion. So you can't be forever at war with a faction anymore. Like after, after a certain point of, you know, their losses and their city losses, uh, villages raided, army losses, they're gonna like peace out. Do for peace, no matter what. So you don't get like a, like you destroy a faction completely, take all their settlements that they're still at war with you and they don't want to peace out ever. So none of that anymore. I don't know, only Valkyrie army would be nice though. Kind of thing, right? Alright, Sammy. Wanna know what the call out or yell out mod breaks? It breaks this. These guys are just yelling, or you, you hear that maybe a little bit if I shut up. It's so like distracting and annoying as well. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck did that miss? They call me the arrow dodger. Okay, maybe not. I get myself killed again. Yep. Yeah, there's two guys in front of me. Why are you aiming at me, guys? The other part. Yeah, that is nice. I'm just surprised it breaks this for some reason. like they're yelling to scare the bears off, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna die in one shot versus the... This motherfucker. Probably. Am I gonna pussy out? Nah. Okay, unless I one-shot him. <laughs> it's immersive though, it's nice. Would be cool if you like actually issue an order. Well, this would work with the Roman mod, I guess. Like, you know, hey, you have Centurions and Optios, like, hear them, shout the order again, then the rest of the troops, like, you know, acknowledge it. That's gonna be pretty cool if someone implements all that. Alright, we're gonna get all the freaking armor off of them. Okay, let's go. No fair. The Federal Berserkers were wiped out, apparently. Oh. Ask and you shall receive. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let's go dump all this. Then we're gonna attack him. Might need to go a little bit strategic in that battle though. The Berserkers are like highest tier infantry after all. Tactics in a bandit fight, jeez. Have I sunk that low? I do wonder, is like are there any other immersive mods out there? Guess what? What? I guess stamina system. Well, that's that's in the in this mod. Or broad axe. It's not that much faster. You know, of course, the blacksmithing this, the axe myself would be would have been a good idea.
Uh, I think this still looks better. I said I was gonna do like a berserker run. Why is this a thing? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Right, but the dismemberment doesn't work with mods, right? It only works with the base game. I do remember, like, reading that. Because, the, like, the models and everything else is, like, a bit different. Or, you know, some reason like that. Maybe we should become a Valkyrie. Right. No, it works with mods. What the, what, I did want something else. Doesn't work. Yeah, it, maybe it doesn't work with like overhaul mods, but this. I mean, this. I think this uses the mo mostly the same shit. Maybe just a little bit different. Texture, well. Since I didn't play that much anyway, I'm not sure if this is if this is a modded item or not, to be honest. We need more mules. So we can carry all the shit. Alright, oh, uh because you're you're the guardian angel of the channel. I'm I'm gonna do the Tessogen mod, the samurai mod, but like um what do you think? Should I go for the gunfire gunpowder version of it? Or just you know you know the honorable honorable way of a sword and bow, right? And spear and yari and uh what was the other one? Naginata, right? That's pretty good. I need to save that one. The shields on your back actually block shit. That's definitely a save. I need to grab that. Because it's funny, like... You run around the Valandian crossbowmen, throw an axe at their back, and they... You know... They have a fucking passive shield on their back. Like... It should block something. <laughs> Because I do, when I played Prophecy of Pandora, my go-to was uh, on field battles, at least. Uh, double shields. A spear and a melee weapon. Well, an axe or a sword doesn't really matter. That's how I roll, rolled, and it was pretty fucking effective. I was a tank on the battlefield. I was the meat shield in front of the enemy. All my archers and all the other troops wrecked them. It worked out pretty freaking fine. Yeah, I got that one. True, true relations is in. Mm, yeah, there it is. But what do you say, Sammy? Guns or no guns with the Japanese mod, or the you know, samurai mod. Okay, we're gonna need a couple more infantry for this. We're actually gonna like need to do this as as 
as in real life, more or less. Because these fucking berserkers have pretty fucking good javelins as well. The realistic against others? Yeah, might be a, a bit OP. Just a tiny little bit. We need to be sneaky, boys. I wonder how much fucking damage that, sh that one of those things does, to be honest. Century. I, well, yeah. It would be. I guess it might be better to play with the gunpowder in the. You know the CA. Or Claradia Awakens. Uh, sub mod as well. I forget what it's called, but like musket and all that, like Napoleon Wars and all that. Although granted, like in the Chinese, or, you know, well, the Chinese, they might have gunpowder and all that. We started using it first. But I could, I could limit myself to, like, not abuse the... Was it matchlocks? Like, whatever the gunpowder unit is in that. Or we could just, or I could just, uh... Download the version of the mod that has a bunch of more uh, good attack. I don't know where the enemies are. The version of the mod that has a bunch more uh, samurai clans in it, the factions. So we have a free for all with them. Oh my god, there's so many of them here. Thankfully, they're all aggro than me, ignoring the troops. <laughs> Look at that, one shot. I think I actually shrugged off a freaking head. Wait, was Eagle Rising updated? That could be idea. Greece retaking its lands from the Romans, right? Hey, you missed, and you're dead. Okay, let's see, do we get the axe, the fancy one? No, we don't, apparently. Maybe I would need to tweak the mod options a bit more, right? This one. Heroes, allies, post battle options. Let's actually see what happens when we have that on. Let's lower this back down to like 50. I mean, if I don't see the fa fancy axe anywhere, I might just might as well just go serve as a soldier. Hope to God that the armies don't get wrecked. 
while we're in them. That would be nice for a change. Just here. Hmm. Oh, we can build a maze. We have two added axes. We'll see. Is, is the thing actually here? Yeah, see, we just killed them all there and we didn't get the, the fancy axe head, fortunately. Okay, we can actually. build the axe or build with with that head of the axe think speed can't get the damage that high up though weapon breach 92 uh, the reach is really freaking low all right Maybe I should start crafting. <laughs> and we are waiting for the kingdom to declare war and so on. We did get the, the non-aggression pact. Well, like, well, is over. So we might declare war on the Batanii. We could just leave the loot everything on and then, then just you know not pick up and pick everything up, right? Now I did. Uh, it does seem that the AI is like uh, less willing to go to war with the fill stacks mod on, or it might be the battle AI, combat AI, I think realistic battle AI. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Just hit, have a one of them as a blacksmith, so we can actually make the axe. Could be the idea. The butcher. I did get one battalion as the archer leader. What the fuck else did I give him? Actually, can't remember. Stab him. Die, die. If the guy has a, like a shitload of blacksmith, we still do need to like unlock the specific part, right? I, I mean, it's been, it's been so far that I actually don't remember how blacksmithing works. That's how I little I uh, care about it, to be honest. I'm a man of action, after all. Stun him for more. Never mind, just bash into that, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna die. No. Now, I did notice uh, uh, the reason why I was g getting my ass beat in the like, first playthrough. Melting axes, improved chance. Well, I guess we, since we make I should load the money, I can just buy I should load the axes and melt them, right? Uh, why, why I was getting my ass, ass, ah, my axe kicked, my ass kicked in the first one is just because um, I went with the like challenging AI, even though the 
Ballistic Battle AI improves the AI so much. <laughs> I just doubled the effect of it. Like 99% of your attacks are blocked. That was freaking fun. This is more realistic. I mean, you can actually get a hit in. How about my posture recharges? Come on. So pissed off when I miss those like kicks. What the fuck's with the fatigue bar now? Why is it white? Why, why was it white? And I remember you have to like spin to win. What do we need to smelt again? Was it wood, right? If I remember correctly. Ah, oh, fuck off. Alright, oh, we can't... Wait. Can't smelt, smelt helmets? Right. You're a blacksmith, but you can't create armor. Why would you? Oh yeah, plus if you go for the perks that just wreck shields. Oh, so nice. Like in most of the battles, uh, you, you, you clip, destroy their shields in like two, three hits. So let's go to the battalion territory. You usually find more enemies over there. Or more uh, renegades over there. Ooh, another tournament. Oh, and I get the fucking bow. Really? Of course, both of my guys are die dead. Actually, I I'm, I'm really surprised I can take that many hits. Thanks for the sub, Nearest. We did lose this right here. Bandits, ban I was on. I was annoyed that there were so many renegades running around, and there's none of them now. I guess that's down to the you know AI having. Ooh, that's that's nice. What? Oh, that's the right. That's the diplomacy mod. That's this session, right? So they can like break off and form their own faction. That's the thing. That the mod adds. Uh, pretty decent, but like... I didn't see it happen yet. A faction break off. I did try to break... Uh, I did try supporting someone, if I remember, in the last playthrough. It just didn't, didn't happen. And plus we had an abdication uh, faction as well. It never happened either. Sadly. Actually, the enemy is going to camp on this one, right? I 
I am on the highest graphic settings. Why do these weeds look so fucking off? Or whatever. I mean, whatever this fucking is. Or is supposed to be? Wait. Yeah, the enemy is gonna camp. Which is a smart thing to do, of course. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, shit. What do you mean, advanced? Or just advance? I usually just give him a, you know, let them command themselves. I mean, I'm, I'm fine if you want to just sit here, get shot at. That works for me. Run like a bitch. the rest of them no it doesn't matter oh yeah this is what i want to see share with troops share with companions we don't have that many companions let's share with both sell this off i guess do need to find like bigger parties all there were a couple of them of a of hundred troops running around. All this. Right, let's get a couple of more meat. Never mind. One more mule. One more is enough. Our carry capacity went up. Yeah. I'm confused. Right, let's buy some more wood since we're gonna need it. Smelt stuff. Some more fish. Right, I forgot what I made the other guy. Mm. I think I made that. I made him our medic. Or coal. All right, I do want to set this so the game. All to allocate points. I'm gonna do the main ones that I need, and everything else the AI I can do it itself. All right, you're gonna lead the archers.
We do need the archers to actually like kill a couple of more of them. Or infantry to kill a couple of more of them if we're gonna get companions out of them. Still the same problem. I'm so tall I can't actually see the enemy what, and what the hell are they doing in front of me. This was the idea. After all, we need to, we need to buy a ton more mules. Let's drop to the Empire territory. They're a bit, a little bit richer, just a little bit. Sure, my ass. Okay, you got any bandits roaming around? Uh, I guess the bandits get taken care of a little bit more regularly because the lord parties are so little. 190 archers, the rest is cab and horse archers. Jeez, you have the true limits, right, Mardon? That fucking party size is going to be a little bit difficult to get to at this point. Any fucking looters around? Okay, not looters, renegades. Mm, I kind of feel like... It. The party capacity is kind of like a, like a progression system, more or less. Oh. Need, I need to try this. We're gonna get wrecked. We're gonna get so fucked up. Well, let's do it anyway. Come on, more loot. Wait, so the... What else does it do? Oh, wait. What else does it actually, like, do? Okay, let's... Uh, there ain't no way we're gonna... Ain't a good place to camp here, to be honest. Like, place our archers back here. A little shield wall in front. Cav. We're gonna roam around. Horse archers are gonna do their thing. Prepare to... Why the fuck did you spread out? You fucking dickheads. I don't really like the fact that this is downhill, but oh well. Vardy of 500 or more looters. I think this is gonna go that well. One of the horse archers is already down. Yeah, this this might not have been the the brightest of ideas ever. Oh no! 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 no. Run! 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 They call me the tree dodger. Yeah, I guess the only hope here is if we break. <laughs> their morale. I don't think that's gonna happen. Or if I become the men chopper. I think they're just gonna block my every attack, though. Could win this if I make some of them like peel off and turn my way, maybe. This was a bad. This was a bad idea.
I'm actually be, gonna be fucking surprised if we win this, to be honest. And we ain't gonna win it if I keep missing. See, did okay, the AI is still dumb. They move around your infantry for some reason. And they don't envelop them. Oh, there's only half of them left. I, mean. I can surely solo this. The archers, how about you? Move more backwards. Although these are uh, battalion fions, so they can actually, you know, fight somewhat decently. Yeah, the enemy's actually running away. Almost got wrecked there by an eye by one of those guys. Cavalry, charge! Look at that. We actually broke him. That's fucking something. 190 versus 50 guys. And we managed to win. Look at that. And I do plan on doing a Prophecy of Pandora play too. One more, of course, because, you know, it's Prophecy of Pandora, man. I'm going to go in and uh, change the Prophecy of Pand or Pandora troop tree, tree line. Make him, um, all of them have blunt weapons, even the archers. Don't know when, but I am going to do that at some point. So we're gonna alternate between Bannerlord and Warband. Where the fuck's the last guy? What? Where is he? Okay, ideally, I would make uh, someone else. I guess uh, Quartermaster Archer is not a bad idea. And you know, Archer Scout as well. Yeah, let's uh, make a Quartermaster first. Okay, so Stewardship. Actually, let's make him an engineer, uh, not engineer, uh, blacksmith as well. Where the fuck is it? And let's make him have a lot of... Uh, I guess athletics. Viewership. Athletics and smithing. Okay, so the other guy is gonna be the scout. Athletics. And riding, I guess. Only 16 renown. Well, we are a mercenary still, so that's maybe why. Surely that was worth a little bit more. I mean, look, we got 100 prisoners, man. <laughs> we want these. Hayseer. Valkyries. House Carl. Yeah, that's the troops we want. 